what's going on and then I'm going to show you just my pond hopping uh, fishing tackle box and my um, what's it called? terminal tackle box and I will have to go downstairs grab my boxes off plastic so I can show you that so this is just the intro and then I'll get you to another part where I'm telling you about it so the box you see on the bottom right here that's going to be my pond hopping box this is my um, terminal tackle box and all that's missing out of the terminal tackle is these weights here these steel ultra steel bolt weights and then I've got these which I got near my uncle's camp they're nail clippers that I use for um, cutting the line and then it's got a knife on it to cut the braid because the nail clippers won't cut braid and then it just says largemouth bass on it right there all right so I'm gonna go right into the box here kind of hard to do with one hand all right so basically here's how it's gonna go I got top water up in here jerk bait which there's only one I normally use crank baits some of my weights this is just regular um like hook and bobber I got some just some random stuff got my jigs my linear jigs up here and then a few little finesse things so let's put it on my lap here and so the first thing I've got is just this little sprawl popping quarter ounce junior frog and it's in just a natural color and this is my top and then I just got this white um booyah bait buzz bait single prop non clacking and then I just stuck this little trailer treble on the back so that's just my um, top water section up there. It's not much. That's one thing I want to get used to more. And then this is a, actually a rip bait, but I call it a jerk bait because that's what I've always called. And it's just in a yellow perch color. It's just a Rapala shallow diving jerk bait. And then in the crankbait section is this, you know, if you watched yesterday's video, you saw the, um, Sorry, here, I'm just trying to get the hook out of my finger. Um, you saw the other one of these, the other DT4 in the Hawaiian color, but this one works really well in the ponds that we normally fish at, and it's just another DT4. And then these are two of my favorite crankbaits. I got, they're, t I've got two of them. I got a chartreuse black back, and this one is a sexy shad, um, it's a Strike King 1.5 size, and the hooks are kind of big. They come with it, but I like it that way, so they're nice. Um, so I'll just go down to the weights here. I really don't know what size weights they are, but I got all kinds of sizes here. I got small ones, quarter, like they're probably quarter ounce, and the super big ones are like punching. And then I just got a smaller bobber for... Um, want to go panfish fishing and then this is we don't have very big bluegill around here so this is the size hook I use it's like you know, let me try and show it to you to the size of my hand it's tiny it's like smaller than my fingernail almost see it's super small but that's the size that works around here and then I got this this little Rapala um little like lipless crankbait and this works really well at this place called the Beardsley Reservoir that we go to. It's just a little chrome with blue back on it. And these also work well at the Beardsley. So I have this little Beardsley section, Phoebe's. I got a gold bigger Phoebe and then a blue and silver super small Phoebe that I use for like pan fish and super small fish. This works well for perch and then some rock bass it works for. So. And then, 
I've got three Lanier Arky jigs, so which are really the only jigs that I use in here. I got a quarter ounce, um, green pumpkin, and they're nice. It's not too stiff, but it's also not too light. And then these are both three eighths. I got a three eighths. These are all Arky jigs, which are kind of like a pitching jig. And then we got just black and blue or midnight or whatever they call it. And then this is a, another 3 8 ounce Arky jig. And it's a, like a chartreuse pale ale, I think it's called, or something like that. I'll put the names of them in the description. And I just got this little swim bait, this little perch swim bait, which I've never used. I just got this from Seth a few days ago. And then I got this th in the, uh, I don't know what video it was in, but I think I talked about this. This was what we usually catch them while in Alex and Seth's Ponds. It's just a cut down, uh, yum worm, which I'll show you in the clip where I talk about the soft plastics on just a little green Northland jig head, which you'll see, not green, but you'll see the rest of them in the, uh, terminal tackle box and I just got this little crazy shaky head so then I'll cut you to a clip where I talk about the uh, terminal tackle I just came back from downstairs I grabbed the box of plastics and I ate some dinner so now I'm going to send you to a clip that talks about my finesse box okay see you there Stop the struggle that I had opening the box one-handed last time. I already opened the box so that it's already to go. So I'm going to go over the hooks first. So I've got uh, four packs of hooks in here right now. The main stuff that I... Oh, five. forgot about those. That I normally use. So I'm going to go over the smaller and go bigger. So I've got two watt and three uh gamma got two drop shot split shot, shot hooks that i use for wacky rigging i know they're for drop shots but i don't use them for that because i don't drop shot and then i got three uh and four uh gamma got two offset shank worm hooks so they're just for like texas rigging carolina rigging stuff like that and then finally i have two uh gamma got two EWG worm hooks, which I don't really use too much anymore now that I got the straight shanks, but I still got them if I run out of the straight shanks. Alright, and now we're going to go to the wacky rigging tool and the other stuff for wacky rigging. I got this wacky rigging tool and some clear wacky o-rings on it. And then I got a package of white and clear wacky o-rings, so just extras. And then I got some Nico weights that I stick in the end of a certain lure that I'll talk to you about when I do the box of plastics. Uh, I got another shaky head in here. The same thing as the one that I showed you that's in my actual box. <clears throat> and then these are those sinking jig heads that I was talking about. That the green one, they're the exact same thing. It's a package of Northland sinking jig heads in there. Uh, 3 16 ounces, you can see right there. Alright, so... My box is empty. Oh, I should probably tell you what the box is, and I'll put in the description what the other box is. It's a Flambo waterproof box, and it's the WP3001 series. So it's small, it has no dividers on it, but it works for me. So, okay, see you later. Finally, this is my box of soft plastics, and it was, uh, it was just an art box, and it said art box here, so I took some camouflage duct tape and just put camouflage duct tape over it. And I put camouflage duct tape around the seal just to make it look good. And then, okay, so I'll just pull all the plastics out. And then I'll just label them size, shape, all the stuff. Oh, you can see kind of the art bin in there. See, come back. Alright, so I'll kind of go over the stuff I don't use as much first. So I got Z-Man 10 times stuff Elastic Finesse Worms and then the June Bug. They're four and a half, they're four inches. 
and it's a 10 pack, but there's one missing because I've, like I said, I don't use it very much, but I use it. And then these are some Renegade, uh, doesn't really say what, oh, there they go, the 20 pack with 4 inch twirl tails. Doesn't, and the uh, tech, uh, something sunrise, T-E-Q sunrise. Um, I got a package of Zoom, The Flukes, and Smoke and Shad. Yeah, um, I've got a package of Walleye Assassin WE Turbo. They're like little paddle tail swim baits. And it's in pearl chartreuse. It's pearl with a chartreuse tail. Um, what else do I got that I don't use too often? Um, oh, a package of... Gary Yamamoto 3 inch sinkles in their pumpkin with black and green flake. Um, so, this is the lure that I put that Nico weight in and Nico rig. But this is the, this is, I don't use this color. It's four, four and a half inch plasm tail and it's green soda peach. Green soda with a peach tail. And I just don't use it. I don't like the color. And this is the second least used of the Biospawn Plasma Tails. And it's a it's still a four and a half inch and it's a watermelon red and black red flake. And then this is the most used I have. It's just a four and a half inch biospawn plasma tail. And it's just in green pumpkin. Same thing as the last two, it's just the color. This is just a random package of a few old worms, grubs, and it's just a neon package. Um, this I don't use too often. If I did, it was would be for a shaky head. And this is just zoom six and a half inch trick worm, and it's in watermelon magic. These are the lures that I stick in the um on the jig head that works really well. But see how it's got all these little ribs? I usually cut it off at like the third rib down, and that seems to be the good length. And then, getting down to the bottom here, I've more used stuff. It's a Zoom Fat Albert grub, grub, and it's in watermelon seed. And then, got a package of Zoom Super Salt Plus Baby Brush Hogs, and it's in watermelon red. Let's see if we can get a better look there. Pretty good color. And all that's left now is some Gary on Little Sankos. I've got a Slim Sanko. It's a four inch slim Sanko and it's in green pumpkin and black flake. I don't really use these too much. I figured do most of the Sankos first. So there's, you can't really see the black flake. And then I got, oh, I'll save that for last because they're my most used bait. And I've got some four inch Yama Sanko and it's in green pumpkin, white green pumpkin and red and black flake. And my most used bait there's a four inch watermelon with black and red flake and see if I can get you better look there. So yeah, that's my big pile of soft plastics and that's my box. Alright, so that was just a view of all my like my pond topping lures and what I take when I just go to like Beardsley Lake or something. But when I go out on the Mohawk I take the other baits that I showed you in yesterday's video. So now I I, I know I told you in the beginning of the video that I was going to talk about the day, too. So, um, we, I just had school today. There wasn't really much to talk about about that. But then I had basketball. We did stairs, which is the worst part, because it's five times to the third floor, and you got to run around to the other side of school up there and come back down. So, and my phone's been having a little bit of trouble, and, and not connecting to the internet and all kinds of stuff like that. So hopefully on Friday, we have a 10.30 dismissal at school. So we'll be able to go to Verizon and get that fixed. And there's not much else to really talk about. So hopefully I'll see you in another video. And please like and subscribe.